From Lindenwald High School, this is the Morning Roar. With anchors, the Imani Deputy and Marquez Haywood. With meteorologist Darren Hall. And the 411 with Javier Morales. Good morning, LHS. I'm Dinesha Townsend, and welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning Roar. And I'm Marquez Seba. Today is Monday, February 25th, 2019. The Bebop for Life Foundation, along with Camden County East Branch of the NAACP Youth Council, hosted by our guidance department, presents the HBCU College Fair. Interested in an HBCU but not sure what it is or if it's for you? Come out on March 2nd from 11 to 2.30 to meet some alumni from these institutions. Make connections and network. There will also be a movie about the founding and purpose of these great colleges and universities. Any questions, see Ms. Lee and D-102. Attention, attention. This is a community service hour event. Students are needed to help babysit young children here at LHS on Tuesday, February 26th from 6.15 to 8 p.m. Please see Ms. Cruz in the main office to sign up. There is an important AV club meeting after school tomorrow on C-108. It's weather time. Let's go to our meteorologist. I'm Sharon Hall with today's forecast. Today we'll have probably cloudy skies and a high of 43 and a low of 24. And winds coming from the northwest at 21 miles per hour. And let's take a look at the five day forecast. On Tuesday, we'll have rain and temperatures at a high of 40 and a low of 25. On Wednesday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies with a high of 40 and a low of 25. On Thursday, we'll have mostly sunny skies with a high of 41 and a low of 25. On Friday, we'll have cloudy skies with a high of 44 and a low of 30. On Saturday, we'll have showers with a high of 46 and a low of 26. Now, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Javier Morales with your 411. It's time for another 4 row moment brought to you by Mr. Flick's Community Spotlight Class. For real? Do you know who the first African American woman to become a self made millionaire is? If you guessed Oprah Winfrey, you're wrong. It was CJ Walker. CJ Walker, born Sarah Breed Love, was an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and activist. She impacted African Americans by making hair and beauty products specialized for African American hair. C.J. Walker was born December 23, 1867 on a plantation in Delta, Louisiana. She was the first of five in her family to be freeborn. Her life started off with her being an uneducated farmer to being the number one saleswoman in her time. During the 1890s, C.J. Walker developed a scalp disorder, but it was not until 1905 when C.J. Walker looked for a treatment. She experimented with a variety of home remedies. In no time, she had created her own shampoo and hair treatments. She moved to Denver, Colorado, started advertising her hair products, and began selling door-to-door -door and gave demonstrations on how to use them. Later, her daughter, Alilia, ran the mail order business in Denver while C.J. Walker decided to settle down in Indianapolis and open her own factory. She also had trained beauticians who were also very well known throughout the U.S. Though her headquarters was in Indianapolis, she expanded her company to Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, and other places. C.J. Walker used her success and wealth to oppose racism and support institutions to help African Americans. C.J. Walker once said, I want to be a millionaire, not only for myself, but for the good I could do with it. Today, there are two historic landmarks associated with C.J. Walker, the woman who was a stepping stone in the making of edge control, curling custard, and leave-in conditioner. This has been your For Real Moment. For real? I'm Dinesha Townsend. And I'm Marquez Haywood. You stay classy, Lennon Wald. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.